I think I was raised a very curious individual that over time got translated into science. I directed that curiosity toward a global issue. Despite the great advancement in medicine and science that we have in 2014, the process of how to identify if the bacteria is resistant to antibiotics takes up to 72 hours. A lot of physicians cannot wait that long when they are dealing with life-threatening situations. So they put the patient on wide-spectrum antibiotic, just hoping that antibiotic will work. We are developing technologies that will reduce the time that is spent to identify the antibiotic-resistant bacteria from days to hours. We could tell exactly what type of antibiotic that would work with this infection that this patient would have. The other part of my project is to develop an educational campaign to raise their awareness of the importance of using antibiotics wisely. Since years ago, a lot of people have been thinking about antibiotics as the magic drugs. People might think antibiotics could treat cold and flu, for example, and this is completely wrong. My role is to tell them what they need to know and what they can do. It's time now to work collaboratively to save humankind from the threat that antimicrobial resistance imposes. Hope is a very important element in success, I believe. With hope, alongside hard work and actions, we can make a difference. <laughs>